Through the fiercest drought and storm, what heights of love, what depth of peace, when fears are still, when striving cease, my comforter, my holy all, here in the love of Christ, I, I stand. Won't give in. No, I'm not gonna turn around. I know I win. If I don't give up now, I am waiting for my change to come in. I know he will come through. And this is I'm so sure. If he did it before, he can do it again. Yeah. Same God right now. Same God back then. If he did it before, he can do it again. Yeah. Same God right now. Same God back then. I've got power. I know I will overcome. Greater is in me. The fight ain't fair cause I already won. And yes. I may fall and get knocked down to the ground. I'll know I rise up and this is how I'm so sure. If he did it before, he can do it again, yeah. Same God right now, same God back then. If he did it before, he can do it again, yeah. Same God right now, same God back then. Please be encouraged. This is not the first time you've been through. You've been through us. You didn't come this far just to lose. He knows your needs. So take no thoughts on what you lost. God will restore and this is how i'm so sure if he did it before he can do it again yeah same god right now same god back then if he did it before he can do it again yeah same god right now same god back then if he did it before he can do it again, yeah. Same God right now, same God back then. He can do it before, he can do it again, yeah. Same God right now, same God back then. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Thank you so much. Guide me on the great Jehovah. Bring me through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty. Only with thy heart. He's a stronghold in the day of trouble and he knows those who trust in him. This year has been a very, very challenging year for every one of us, you know, at work, church, look at us meeting virtually. Many waters have gone under the bridge, but the Lord has kept us. Every family in church on the rock 
Many of us are healthcare professionals. Many of us work with the public. You know, we go out, we come back. You know, some of us are mothers, wives. You go for food shopping, you come back. You know, some did not even leave their home and yet they died of COVID. The Lord has kept us because the covenant that we have with him is the covenant of life. From our children to our young people, you know, they went to school, they went to uni, to our older ones who are called to be at risk group. Yet the Lord has kept all of us. I want to thank God on behalf of every family, on behalf of Church on the Rock, that we've not had a reason to bury anyone this year. You know, when I look at the numbers, my heart sink. Over 900 people died today in the last 48 hours. But we are still here because of the love and the mercy of God. He has kept us. So I want to thank God for that. And uh, I have a song to sing. It's just a chorus. I won't sing the whole song. And it's just to give God all the praise on behalf of our families, our little children, our young people, uh, the adults and the older ones for keeping us. Oh, the song goes like this. the Lord. Holy is your name. With everything I've got, my heart will sing our love of you. Holy are you, Lord. Oh, With everything I've got, my heart will sing, I will love you. Amen. 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 Praise. I think it has been a pretty tough year, um, but especially for me, it's been a year of... Um, learning and acknowledging pro progress so i'm very very grateful to god for that that's that's the end okay praise god hallelujah yes, yes the lord, lord. We'll we bow, bow down and say you are god every man we bow down and say you are king so let's start right now. Why would we wait? King of glory, fill this place. We just want to be with you. We just want to be with you. King of glory, fill this place. We just want to be with you. We just want to be with you. Yes, the Lord, we bow down and say you are God. Every man. We bow down and say you are king. So let's start right now. Why would we wait? We can praise you now in victory. King of glory, feel the Place. We just want to be with you. We just want to be with you. King of glory, feel this place. We just want to be with you. 
We just wanna be with you. So we'll sing hallelujah till you come again. And we dance in your presence till you come again. We will sing hallelujah. And we sing hallelujah till you come again. Dance in your presence, and we dance in your presence, till you come again. King of glory, King of glory, feel this place. Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. King of glory, King of glory. Feel this place. Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. King of glory. Feel this place. Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. King of glory. King of glory. Feel this place. Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be. Just wanna be with you. King of glory. King of glory. Feel this place. Just wanna be with you. Just wanna be with you. Amen. Hope we all doing fine. <laughs> anyway, I just want to thank God for for His goodness. This year has been a really tough year, and um, but God has been God has been good to every one of us. I'm sure none of us have anything to say against God. Yes, I'm saying that. Um, I just want to give all the thanks and glory to God. God has been good, even though I've had my ups and downs with Him especially in the last few months, um, you know, but I know God can, God sees all and he knows all. Even before this COVID, he knows this was going to happen, even though we didn't see into the future, but he sees into future, he sees into the past, and he sees beyond what we can see. So I just give God the glory. And I remember there's a verse in the Bible that said, God will not tempt us more than we can handle. And the same, I also believe that, Whatever comes our way, God has already prepared the way out for every one of us. Especially for me, I believe God has prepared a mighty way for me. Because this COVID has been, in my heart, has been so worried about it. Um, you know, like locked myself in for months, you know, worried that, you know, if this come near my door, but thank God it didn't come near our door. And... I'm happy to see every one of us. I know because we're doing this um, online, so a lot of us are not here today. But to know that most of all of us, most of us in Church on the Rock, God has been so good to every one of us. Mm -hmm. Especially like what Pastor Nicky said earlier on about most people are working in the hospital, doctors, nurses, and care workers and everything. And, and we know, we hear the news about what's going on. And God has been good to every one of us. I just give all the glory to God. You know, watching my children running up and down, playing. I know God has kept me alive, kept my wife, my children, every one of us alive. And I just want to assure every one of us, I have faith that 2020, yes, we don't know what's going to happen, but I have big faith that God has mighty, mighty, mighty miracles for every one of us. You know, the future is bright. We are here today celebrating. We are here today to give thanks to God for, I mean, this COVID has been on for 12 months since December last year. And we are here today to give thanks to God. I remember last night, um, I was up to midnight this morning and I said to my wife, this is the last day of the year. And God has kept us uh, midnight this morning, early this morning. You know, that God has kept us and he has watched over us. He has provided for us. For my family especially, because for the last nine months, I've been in and out of work and 
But God has been so kind and providing that we are not, you know, owing any money. We're not owing anybody. You know, yes, the rent might be late sometime, but the landlord has been very kind with us, understanding. You know, we are up to the Holy God that could make that possible. You know, sometimes, I mean, me and Mr. Worry, I worry a lot. My wife is the gentle and like, ah, oh, why are you worried? But, you know, standing here today at this moment, I give up. I know we're not walking to 2021 in debt. That all abuse have been paid. I'm healthy. No hospital admission. I remember I was saying to my wife yesterday, um, 2020, no, 20, yeah, to, uh, the year 2000, I remember I spent Christmas in hospital, New Year in the hospital. I remember um, St. Thomas Hospital. I could see the light, the, the um, what do you call them, the bangers and all the lights at the hospitals. You know, and I was giving God the glory last night that God, I thank you. 2021, I'm here with my children, with my wife. You know, a um, few days ago, we celebrated our 11th anniversary. When I look back, all right, so you know, it's the, best, <laughs> it's the best 11 years of my life. Cool. Hey, Charles. Nice to see you again. Um, so I'm going to be singing a song today called <clears throat> Most Beautiful Slash So In Love. I learned it today, so if there are any mistakes, please forgive me. Um, but cool. <clears throat> One thing I desire, only this I seek, is to dwell, dwell, dwell here forever. This will be my posture, laying at your feet, just to dwell, dwell, dwell here forever, dearest father. Dearest father, and closest friend, so beautiful, most beautiful, oh dearest father, dearest father, closest friend, most beautiful, most beautiful, one thing I desire. Only this I seek is to dwell, dwell, dwell here forever. This will be my posture, laying at your feet. Oh, just to dwell, dwell, dwell here forever. Dearest Father, Closest friend, most beautiful, most beautiful. Dearest father, closest friend, most beautiful, most beautiful. Oh, dearest father, dearest father, closest friend. Most beautiful, most beautiful, dearest father, and closest friend, most beautiful, most beautiful. There are no words, there's nothing left, my love sings to you. Oh, there are no words, there is nothing left, my love sings to you. Oh, there are no words, there is nothing left, my love sings to you. Nothing left, 
run away. There is nothing left. My love sings to you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dearest father, closest friend, most beautiful, most beautiful. Oh, dearest father, dearest father, closest friend, most beautiful. Most beautiful. I'm so in love with you. You're beautiful. So beautiful. I'll fix my eyes on you. You're beautiful. So beautiful. Ooh, I'm so in love with you. You're beautiful. So beautiful. I'm fix my eyes on you. You're beautiful. So beautiful. With just one look, everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same. With just one look, everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same. With just one look. Everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same with just one look. Everything changes. I'm captivated. I'll never be the same with just one. I'll fix my eyes on you. You're beautiful, so beautiful. Oh, I'm so in love with you. You're beautiful, so beautiful. Amen. Amen. I said. You will start and you will finish well. So the title is Make a Move. Why do some people start? Why do some don't start at all? In 2 Timothy 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7, Apostle Paul read, he says, I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. You see someone that started and finished well. Grace walk through faith. You need grace to even start. And you even you need more grace to finish well. So look at those areas in this year we are ending. Those areas of near misses, near failures. What can you do? What 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 can you learn from them? We can learn from failures so that we can master success. Verse 8. Paul continues, says, Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, the righteous judge, means that the judge that will always do the right thing. This judge cannot be bribed. The righteous judge will award to me on that day, and not only to me, 
but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Those that are waiting on God will not be disappointed. Those that are serving God in the midst of the coronavirus lockdown, they are still serving God. They will not be disappointed. You will not be disappointed. Say, now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness. No crown for those who did not finish well. No crown for those who started but did not finish. No crown for those who did not even start at all. So in this year, as we are going to this new year, you will start strong and you will finish strongest. The New King James Bible says, Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness. There is a crown for those that start and for those that finish well. However, there are some things you need to know as we all enter 2021. 2021. Number one is the number of God. There is only one God. Mark chapter 12, 32 says, Only one God and no other. Only one God, the Father, who created everything and will live for him. 1 Corinthians 8, 6. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Deuteronomy 6, 4. So number one is the number of Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. For there are three that bear witness in heaven, and these three are one. 1 John 5, 7. Number 1, 2021. Numbers begins from 1. So in this year, as we go into this new year of 2021, it is important how you begin. It is not a wish, it's a determination. Make a move. In Luke chapter 14, verse 28, Jesus said, For which of you intending to build a tower? Mark that in your Bible, intending. That's a good place to start, your intention. It's good to intend to succeed. It's good to intend to prosper. It's good to intend to move up higher to a higher level. As this year, as we proceed, as we enter this new year of 2021, you need to have a good intention, a strong one. For which of you intending to build a tower God wants you to build is a good intention to build business build lives build career which of you intending to build a tower what do you want to build in the new year 2020 has been full of troughs and peaks as we have had many people said it it's quite a phenomenon. It's quite a remarkable year. But it's just like any other year, isn't it? Except that we have this coronavirus pandemic started from last year to this year. And we're still dealing with it. And the vaccine is out. And we are going into the new year. And we believe that the effect of those coronavirus will abate in the new year. And no more death. No more death. But let's look at this. Jesus said, for which of you intending to build a tower 
does not sit down first. Sit down first. There's always a time to sit down and plan. Sit down first and count the cost, whether it has enough to finish it. You will finish well. But it's important to count the cost first. How much effort do I need to put into my dreams this year as I go into this new year? Number two, where should I start from? Some don't even know where to start from. And if you can know where to start from, I believe you will surprise yourself by the way you'll be propelled to the next step. Number three, what do I need to do on a day-to-day -day basis to get my desires? It's important. It's not enough to wish it is better for you to have a determination. So where to start from? Start from where you are right now. That's why we don't sing about the troughs of life. Yes, we know it's there, but we set our gaze on Jesus. We want to set our head above the paraphlet. So for that, we need to keep looking unto Jesus. Start from where you are. Start with what you have right now. The widow of the prophet wanted to eat the last meal that she had with a child and die. Then she met the man of God and told the man of God the trough of her life. But then the man of God said to her, what do you have? She said, I have nothing for this little meal. But you could see when she gave that little meal to the Lord, God converted the little meal into a miracle. And she didn't die. And even the little that she had, God made it to increase. And you could see and she made a living even out of that, the little that she had. So start from start with what you have. In 2 Kings chapter 7, I read that very quickly, verses 3 to 5. Now there were four leprous men at the entrance of the gate, and they said to one another, Why are we sitting here until we die? I will tell you that there's a problem with doing nothing. Verse 4. If we say we will enter the city, the city, the famine is in the city, and we shall die there. And if we sit here, we die also. Now, therefore, come, let us surrender to the army of the Syrians. If they keep us alive, we shall live, and if they kill us, we shall only die. Read with me the next verse. And they rose at twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they had come to the outskirts of the Syrian camp, to their surprise, mark that, to their surprise, no one was there to make a move. Not only will you start from where you are, don't be afraid to take a risk. Don't be afraid to take a risk. Jesus, in, in fact, said, anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. John chapter 12, verse 25. The next verse says, whoever serves me must follow me. Don't be afraid to take a risk. Fate itself is a risk. For we walk by faith and not by sight. 
2 Corinthians 5, 7. We walk by faith and not by sight. You must make things happen. Don't wait for things to happen before you make a move. Faith believes in the invisible God. That what is invisible through God will become visible. So that is the stage that you are in at this moment. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 18 while we do not while we do not look at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporary but the things which are not seen are eternal the new international bible says version of that translations of that verse says so we fix our eyes not on what is seen. We fix our eyes not on what is seen, not on the troughs, but on what is unseen. What is unseen is faith in God. What you are believing God to do for you through his word so we fix our eyes not on what is seen but on what is unseen since what is seen take care that since what is seen is temporary the trough is temporary even the success success you see if it's not well handled it's also temporary you see that's why the rich also want to get richer. They're still working at it. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is what? Eternal. So for you to make that move, the next point, take that risk in line with the scriptures. Then you would take the first step. This is where the decision has to be made. Don't be afraid to, to take a risk, especially in your determination to obey the scriptures. In that second Kings, 2 Kings chapter 7, of those four lepros, and look at that verse 5 again. And they rose at twilight to go to the camp of the Syrians. And when they had come to the outskirts of the Syrian camp, to their surprise, no one was there. To their surprise, no one was there. See, there is no mountain anywhere except the one you put in your mind. There is no limitation except the one you are allowed to be in your mind. See, once there's a limiter in your mind, there's no amount of prayer you can pray that will take you beyond that limitation unless you remove that limitation from your mind and then you will move on to the next level. I did not put their lives, the four lepros, on the line. I did not risk their lives to survive. I did not risk everything to take the first step. They would not have lived at all. Number three, it takes strong faith in God to take the first step in life. It takes strong faith in God to take the first step in the direction of your dreams. Someone once said, you don't have to see the whole staircase, just take the first step. How many of you, when you are climbing the stairs, 
Do you see the whole staircase at once? You just took the first step, isn't it? As you took the first step, what happened? Then you take the next one, and then the next one, and then you get to the peak. Is that not the case? The first step is very important, and it takes faith, strong faith in God to take that first step. Look at verse 6. For the Lord cursed, for the Lord had cursed the army of the Syrians to hear the noise of chariots and the noise of horses, the noise of a great army. So they said to one another, Look, the king of Israel had, has hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to attack us. Verse 7. Therefore, they arose and fled. They arose and fled and left the camp intact. You only need to take the first step and leave the rest to God. Just as you climbed the staircase. Don't sing about the troughs. Take the first step towards your direction in life. After the first step, God will take care of the next step. Number four, God always respond to the steps, to the step of faith. God always respond to the step of faith. Look at Mark chapter 10, very quickly. Mark chapter 10 is a story you know very well. There was a blind man. This blind man believed in God. We are not told for how long he has been blinded. He believed in God because he had heard about the healing God. Then one day, his story changed. As you go into the new year, your story will change. Your story will change. My story will change as well. In Mark chapter 10, verse 47, the man called Blind Bartholomew. You see, the stigma that is that people attach to your identity, God will soon change it in the new year. You notice that when that man that was called Blind Bartholomew, when the miracle of God happened to him, they removed that stigma. God will remove yours as well in the new year. In Mark chapter 10, verse 47, the man that is called Blind Bartimaeus, when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out. Notice what he did when he heard it was Jesus. He pumped up the volume. He responded in the direction of Jesus. He took his chances he, and he exhausted all his energy in the direction of Jesus. He said, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The next verse. The many want him to be quiet. But what did he do? He cried out all the more. I wonder how many people have stopped you in your track when you made up your mind, the last move. You made up your mind to move, but then because of what people are saying, because of the criticisms, see where that has gotten you. Unlike this man, many want him to be quiet. How many people have been telling you that yours is too much for God? They want him to be quiet, but he cried out, all the more he cried out all the more son of david have mercy on me if you respond to god you will be criticized if you respond to god people will criticize you and if you don't respond to god god will walk past you so pick your choice when you hear the word of God, make a move. We are, God is giving you another chance. As he's given me, as he's given all of us, 
everyone that has seen the end of 2020 today the last day of the year i congratulate you because you are a winner you are a victor not a victim god is giving you another chance to go into the next year and renew your own image when you hear the word of god make a move the holy spirit will remind you of the verse of the scriptures then when you hear that make a move the devil cannot remind you of the scriptures he doesn't care every time you remember the scriptures remember it is the work of the holy spirit how be it when the spirit of truth has come it will guide you into all truth that's this work look at the next verse verse 49 so jesus stood still in other words jesus christ has gone past the blind Bartimaeus. now he stood still and commanded him to be called then they called the blind man who are the day the critics called the blind man that is why you must not pray that Jesus your enemy should and die. commanded him to be called then they called the blind man saying to him be of good cheer rise he is calling you be of good cheer rise he is calling you you must not pray for your critics to die the critics, the same critics that criticized the blind Bartimaeus now became his uncle. You see, now became the someone who reported the news of what Christ has said. They now reported it to him. They are now reporting to him the news of his breakthrough. That is why you don't pray for your enemy to die otherwise who is going to report to you the news of your breakthrough they are going to televise it they are going to spread it and so we need them to be around so that they can televise it for you you see and i declare to you in this new year as you are going into the new year i decree that your critics shall become your anchor in the name of jesus look at verse 15 and throwing aside his garment, who blind Bartimaeus threw aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. Who taught him to throw away the garment? You see, when you begin to respond to the word of God, to the scriptures, you'll be freed from your interests. You'll be freed from all those things that have held you back in the previous years. You'll be freed from it. You just take that step of faith in the direction of the word of God to support your dreams. You will see just the first step. Leave the rest to God. Verse 50. Threw aside his garment, he rose and came to Jesus. Number five, make when you make a move, you'll be free from everything that has held you back in life. He threw aside his garment and came to Jesus. He threw aside it. So it's possible for you to know those things that have been precluding you from spiritual growth. It's possible for you to know those things that have been stopping you in, from growing as a child of God. It's possible to know that. Who taught the blind Bartimaeus when the robber meets the road? Who taught him to throw away the garment? He knew. So you too can handle it. You can handle your, distract, your distractions. You can. Look at verse 51 to 52. So Jesus answered and said to him, what do you want me to do for you? The blind man said to him, Rabboni, that I may receive my sight. 52. 
Then Jesus said to him, Go your way. Your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight. The miracle did not take time. It is the obedience that takes time. His miracle, immediately he received his sight. So what has kept him blinded until he met with Christ? When he heard the truth, he responded promptly to the Lord. He will not allow Jesus to walk him past. You too need to respond to the word of God in the new year. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the road. Make a move. We need to pray. We need to pray right now. As we go into the new year, we need to enter that new year soberly before the Lord, Lord to hear our prayer, to hear your prayer. If you are genuinely desiring to make a move, do you know? It is the desire of God for you to get better. It is His delight for you to be promoted in life. God doesn't want you to suffer. He's a good God. Why suffering is happening? The suffering is producing in you the right nature and character that will help you to handle future successes. And it's very important so that you, you too can feel it, feel the pain. When you feel the pain, you appreciate the gain. Jesus Christ needed to suffer what we suffer. He needed to taste this, the, 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 the pain, the pain that people that are engulfed in sin will go through. That's why the scripture says, for we do not have a high priest that is not touched by the feelings of our infirmities. But who in all point was tested but did not sin? Don't say, don't say the wrong thing when you don't know what to say. Why don't you just thank God? Remember those ones that he has done before and thank him. That's a good response. I believe with this one, you begin to make a move. I want us to pray. I want to commit yourself to God. Pray that God will forgive you from every disobedience to his word, from every sin. It's not that you do not know what to do, but you just don't want to do it. That is sin. To him that knows what to do and does not do it, it is sin. Why don't you pray that God free me from this sin? Free me from this disobedience. See? Free me from this thing that is holding me back. See? That which I don't want to do is what I find myself doing. That which I want to do, I find myself not doing it. That's the body of sin. That means you are trapped. You need freedom. This is the year of the Lord. As we go into the new year, 2021, why don't you make that move? Make a move to be a better follower of Christ. Ask the Lord to forgive you. Even as we go into the, this new year, ask him, you want to be saved. You want to be born again. That desire to follow Jesus, I want it to be in me. Pray that God will accept you into the beloved. Pray that God will accept you as a son through Christ Jesus. Pray that you want to be a child of God. Say, for as many that received him, to them he gave the power to become sons of God. Even them that believe on his name. Why don't you receive him into your heart? When you receive him, you will know. Who taught blind Bartholomew how to receive Jesus? 
he responded when you are ready you will know you are ready it comes from within i want to be freed i want to be a new man see many of you have been called into the ministry but you just don't want to do it many of you have been given a ministry to sing to play music to to serve to minister to people but you are just you just don't want to do it because you have thought that what is what is my gain in this i will tell you my brother and my sister there are many gains life 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 this way life of god is a gain is again to live is christ to die is again to let's live with let's live for him and you will enjoy the life of god number three pray that he gives you a new heart and a new spirit pray that god give me a new heart and a new spirit yes he has promised he will give us a new heart and a new spirit so that we can willingly obey him and do his will those things that have been making you not to obey God, to do it your own way, is because your heart is not the right heart of God. The, 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 that Simon, the Simeon man in the, the, in the church, in that act of Apostle chapter 8, his heart was wicked, even though he was in the church. You too need a new heart from the Lord, and then you begin to follow in his step. Pray that now he baptizes you, he will baptize you with his Holy Spirit because it is when he gives you a new heart and a new spirit that you can be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Then you too will begin to enjoy the presence of God. You begin to serve God. You begin to enjoy the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I want to pray, number five, pray that he gives you the grace to make a move in this new year. Make a move to increase in life make a move to be a choir member make a move to be a better choir member make a move in anything you want to do for god make a move to do it in everything that god has been telling you to do for him and you have been dilly dallying in 2020 uh in this 2021 as we approach it make a move to take that first step and do great things for God. By the end of 2021, you will not be the same again. You'll be singing a new song, a better song. Make a move. Pray that God will help you to serve him in the new year better. Better. As a youth, you want to be a youth leader. You too want to you want to minister to the other people. You want to lead them to Christ. You want to help them. You see, you want to help them. I remember when I was a youth, I was also studying. I want to be a doctor so that I can help people. I want to use my skill to make their lives better. Now I'm doing holistic medicine, spirit, soul, and body. But then I just wanted to help them. Help them to, to be accomplished in life. You too can make a move. I made my own move many years back to serve God. See where it has taken me. You too can make a move to serve God, to, to lead your family to God, to lead the nation to God. God is looking for a man, a man, a man that will stand in the gap so that you will not destroy the land. Will you be that man? I want you to pray. Pray that it will help you not only to start to take the first step, but also step first step to the next step and to finish well. In that dream, whatever you have dreamt that God I want to become. Yes, that brother I told you, pray. Set your heart to him. Set your heart to him. The devil has failed in our lives. Set your heart, you will see. You just make that move to serve God. Make that move to be a better believer. Make that move to be a better follower of Christ. Make that move to understand the scripture. If you have to cram it, cram it. Understand it. As you cram it more and more, you repeat it to yourself, repeat to yourself. Your heart will be open. Then you will know it. Yeah, you will know it. You will know it. You can know it. And you too will see visions. You will interpret dreams. You too will move with the, with the help of the Holy Spirit. And the last prayer, pray 
wherever you are that in this 2021 oh god lord you are the god that changed times and season jehovah change my times change my season let it be a time of refreshing let it be a time of opulence let it be a time of increase let it be a time of prosperity let it be a time of good health let it be a time oh god of increase in our lives begin to thank him you will make begin a to difference in life i will make a difference in life begin to thank him begin to commit your children to the hands of god if you have one begin to commit them lay your hands on your children wherever they are begin to pray for them begin to pray for them if you have grandchildren there lay your hands on them begin to pray for them in the name of jesus let's commit ourselves into the hands of god the scripture tells us that gather my saints together unto me those who have made covenant with me by sacrifice, gather those children, gather those children and commit them to the hands of God. You will not die, you will live. You will not die, you will live. I decree over you, you will not die, you will live. In the name of Jesus, you fulfill God's given destiny. In the name of Jesus, your name shall not be found among vagabonds in the name of jesus your name shall not be found among vagabond in the name of jesus your name shall not be found among vagabonds in the name of jesus you will serve the lord all the days of your life in the name of jesus your position is at the top you will get to the top in the name of jesus you will increase on every side in the name of jesus affliction shall not come a second time i decree and i declare over you affliction shall not come a second time I command that disease to leave you. I command every chronic condition to leave you. I command every chronic condition in the name of Jesus to leave you. As you hear my voice, the scripture says, strangers shall hear my voice. They shall submit to my voice. They shall come out of their hiding places. As you hear my voice in the name of Jesus, come out of that body. Come out of that condition. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you in the name of jesus receive a new heart receive a new spirit in the name of jesus i decree and i declare over you in this new year in this 2021 in the name of jesus you will finish well you will finish well you will finish well you will finish well in the name of jesus God will captivate your heart with his love. Your heart shall be enlarged for the glory of God. You will see vision in the name of Jesus. Say, in the last day, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, upon all flesh, including you, upon all flesh, your sons and your daughters, your they sons in vision. vision. In the name of Jesus, your sons and your daughters, they shall prophesy. They shall prophesy. In the name of Jesus, your young one shall see vision. Your old one shall dream dreams. In the name of Jesus, it is time for you to start dreaming now start dreaming dream dreams in the name of jesus age is not a limitation age is not a limitation in the name of jesus as your eyes can see so you will get there in the name of jesus you will get there day 2021 you will get there in the name of jesus i decree and i declare over you in the year of completion 2021 shall be the year of completion for you you will complete all that the lord you will complete all that your hands have begun in the name of jesus i speak fusion i speak fulfillment i speak com i speak completion into your marriage into your career into your business in the name of jesus i speak completion into your life i speak completion into your family in the name of jesus down which the enemy has made you to stop in the name of Jesus you will go back there where the grace of 
God. You will restart and you will start well. And once you start, you will not stop anymore. You will not stop anymore until you finish. 2021 shall be the year of completion for you, completion of your, of your dreams, completion of your ministry, completion of your desires, completion of your destiny in the name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has touched in the name of Jesus, I pray the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus that spoke better than the blood of Abel, let the blood of Jesus prevail, prevail, prevail there. When the in enemy the comes like a flood, the Spirit of God will raise up a standard against it. Every area of your life that the enemy has touched in the name of Jesus, let the Spirit of God raise up a standard against them. In the name of Jesus, it shall, you will complete it. You will complete your dreams. You will complete your desires in life. In the name of Jesus, your vision shall not be aborted. Whatever has been aborted in your life, I speak restart. I speak restart. I speak restart. I speak restart into your Christian life, into your family life, into your health, into your business, into your career. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every failures in your life, in the name of Jesus, receive a second chance. You will succeed. Where you have failed, you will succeed. I say, in the name of Jesus, where you have failed in time past, you will succeed. You fail because of lack of understanding you fail because of ignorance but now the lord shall fill your heart with his knowledge and wisdom in the name of jesus the god of wisdom shall fill your heart with knowledge and wisdom in the name of jesus god will fill you with hope where you have been hopeless god will fill you with hope in the name of jesus i speak to your life and destiny where you have been hopeless i speak hope into your life into your situation in the name of jesus receive insight receive insight insight from the lord insight from the lord insight from your from the lord let the lord fill your heart with insight let the Lord fill your heart with insight. I decree and I declare, you will know where to start from. You will know what to do. You will know what to do. The Lord is a God of knowledge. The Lord is a God of wisdom. May the God of wisdom fill you with knowledge and spiritual understanding. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord saturate your heart with hope and comfort you on every side. In the name of Jesus, 2021, 2021 shall be the year of completion for you. 2021 shall be the year of completion for you. The Lord will put it into your heart, that which will make you to stand out. In this new year, you will stand out. In this new year, you will stand out. Where men have suppressed you, to suppress a man in his way, God does not. God does not approve it. Who is he that see the thing and come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? What the Lord has said in your life, I command it to come through. What the Lord has not said, but men have said into your heart, into your life, but is standing in the way of your destiny. I command it to be rooted out. I command it to be rooted out. I say in the name of Jesus, you will succeed. You will excel. You will succeed. You will excel. In the year 2021, the year of completion, you will fulfill. You will be fulfilled in life. You will make it. You will make it. Where you have been let down, where you have been let down, God has preserved, has preserved there for you praise and fame in the name of jesus where you have been let down god has preserved there 
praise and faith. You need to go back there. You need to go back there. For there God has preserved for you praise and fame for the steps of the righteous are ordered by God. I speak to you brother, I speak to you sister in this new year as you submit yourself to the word of God, God will order your steps aright in the name of Jesus God will order your steps aright. No more missteps no more missteps in your life. In the name of Jesus, I speak timeliness into your life. I speak promptness into your life. I speak accuracy into your mind. In the name of Jesus, whatever has made you to fail in time past, in the name of Jesus, the tide has turned. The tide has turned to favor you. In the name of Jesus, your family is favored. Your marriage is favored. Your health is favored in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your mind in the name of Jesus. Welcome to the year of completion. This is the year of completion. This is the year of completion. It shall be completion for you. It shall be completion for you. It shall be completion for you in the name of Jesus. Welcome to 2021, the year of completion. Let's begin to thank God. Hallelujah. Yes, it, shall yes. yes. it shall be completion of your dream. It shall be completion of what your hands begin to do. You will finish it. Bible says, whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. Whatever you set your heart to do in this year, you will finish well. You will finish well. You will excel. You will excel. You will excel. You will excel. Will excel. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will bless you. Lord will bless you. Lord will bless you. Lord will bless you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Happy New Year, children. Happy New Year, 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 We thank God for that. We thank God for that. Amen. Let's sing the song of victory. Let's sing the song of victory. Amen. Let's sing this song of victory together. Hey. I want you to We'll get there. Let's sing this song of victory together. Praise God. Praise God. Oh God, our help in oh. ages. Past. Our help in ages past. Our hope for years to come. Our shelter from the stormy blast. And our Eternal hope. The Lord bless you. Jesus, I decree over your people in the name of Jesus. Stretch forth your hands towards, towards me in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree over your people in this year of completion that which their hands have begun, Jehovah, that which you have encouraged them to have insight of. The light in them shall not become darkness. You will direct their steps. That step that they need to take, the first step of faith, inspired by the Spirit of God, in the direction of God to fulfill their purpose in life and destiny, you will give them the grace to take that step. Nice. They will not give in to the voice of criticisms, they will not give in to voice of discouragement. Every discouragement that comes, that will come their way, Jehovah, you give them the grace to spot that discouragement and not yield to it. I will rather find a way around it and move on in life. I say you will move on in life. Amen. Jesus, Amen. what your hands shall begin to do, you will finish it. Amen. As a student, you will excel in your studies. Amen. You will qualify to Amen. get that degree that you wanted. Amen. And you will not be jobless graduates in Amen. the name of 
Jesus. Amen. God will equip you with the right job in Amen. the name of Jesus. For the Amen. hands of the diligent shall be a rule. You are a ruler. You are a ruler not to be ruled. You are a ruler and so you will rule in the name of Jesus. I decree over every hand that is spread to the Lord this time. I pray for you with this hand you will bear rule in the name of Jesus. Your heart desires shall be granted you in that which you have set your heart to do to serve the Lord in a better way this time you will increase and you will improve. God will enlarge your heart with knowledge in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Amen. Peace. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace Amen. in believing that you may abound in hope even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and our God and Father who has loved us and given us everlasting consolation and by grace, comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and Amen. work in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace of God together in fellowship. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 20 and 21. Now, may the God of peace, who brought our Lord Jesus Christ to death, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make us complete in every good work, doing his will, working in that which is well pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Surely, goodness, goodness, and follow all the days of our life. We shall dwell in the house, in the house of, of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Amen. love of God, God the fellowship, of the, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us Amen. now. Amen. Amen. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.